My Discord has provided an answer. James Stanley. I've posed the question as I need a name for each armadillo shark spider hybrid mutation. And Egan has responded, James Stanley. There we go. But Ed! If we make cards in the future, we will ask people to name them based on their description and nothing else. So anyway, let's continue playing Card Apocalypse. We have made a card. And as we have now made a card, we need to add it to our deck of cards. Yes, cards. All the cards. So this actually is a really helpful um, little thing here. We'll get rid of the cat, the dog here and replace it with this. However, when are we done with this just yet? Because, of course, we have stickers and we've been saving them for rare cards. So we have a plus one attack sticker. So we can make this wall of ours. Where is it? We can give it free power. We could also give it an extra point of health. Did I not have... Oh, I thought I had a cost down. Okay, um, what else could we give it? We could give it Ambush, or we could name it. No, we've already given it a name. Can we apply multiple stickers to a single card? None left. Okay, so we can't apply multiples to it. However, having free power makes it already a lot better than it would have otherwise been, so I think we're fine with that. We'll save the rest of our things for the time being, at least until we get some cost down ones. Because I don't think giving it an extra hit point is that relevant, but giving it an ex making it cost only three would be amazing. So, if we go back through the menu for the, about the third time, we'll eventually get to edit deck. There we go. So that's fine. That's fine. What else do we have available? We could even actually just increase the power of Dogzilla. But again, I'd probably rather have reduction cost things. They're probably the more rare ones, but I'm sure I had some by this stage last time. Probably some other missions will give me them. Okay, so we have Yolanda's mission. We have little Jessica we can go and fight at some point soon. In fact, we're probably going to have to do that. We're going to have to do that at some point soon. But let's go and meet Kirk for now. So Kirk, I hear you're the kid with the best cards in school. You would be right. Yes, sir. He's Stanman. Kirk Stanman, the best cards in the whole town. Also, yay! Welcome back, Stan. Got a Power Riser card? Right here, mint condition, but it'll cost you. Okay, so we need to trade for this. Um, okay, so obviously that's massive against us. Actually, I know what we can do. We're going to get our food, actually. What was that mission about for this? Uh, snack, snack. Find Cory. There we go. Cory, where are you? There we go. Down, Corey. Because we need those snacks, and that might actually give us enough to make the trade. Uh. Did you crush him? Did he cry? I won, if that's what you mean. Uh. And? Uh. I told him what you told me to tell him. Uh. Good job, friend. Uh. You know, if you keep being such a good friend every day, then there could be more snacks in it for you. <laughs> Get more snacks from Corey tomorrow. We've got some nerps. I love nerds. They are amazing. And now, hopefully, we got enough snacks that we can just trade. I mean, I suppose we could have given them some commons. Some commons we don't care about, but it's also the case that I don't really want to get rid of cards right now. I prefer to m I'm much happier getting rid of items. Oh, we can give them both of those for that. Can we go 1-1? One, one? Yay! Okay. We have gained the Powerizer, and now if we head back to the art room, we can give that to Nebraska. Get more rewards, hopefully. Nah. Add the Powerizer to the trade. Oh. Powerizer Pipsqueak card. Damn, we're cool. You can take these stickers there. I don't need them anymore. Oh. Oh. I'm going to be cooking case <laughs> Keech sees. <laughs> There we go, we've got one of each, including the cost down. Okay. So let's go... Oh, she wants to challenge as well. 
Well, first off, let's go and upgrade our cards a little bit here. Actually, no stickers. So we apply the cost down sticker to... We, uh, we apply that to James Stanley, and let's go and do battle. Yep, select deck, start battle. Ooh, new champion. Bunnable the Minion Eater. Okay, we'll be in with Gloodle, and we have a dog as well. So, plus one food. Okay, so this is a food style deck here, and just wants to continually eat people. On transformation, refill food to maximum. So we want to be doing that on our turn rather than our opponents. Good to know, though. All right, so let's start with one damage and throw down Gloodle. All right, Gloodle takes the hit. Paprika. On revenge, gain one maximum food. Oof. We'll throw that down and we will kill you, raising your maximum to three. So that one does the benefit we usually get about having a food advantage in this game. Duplicate makes additional things there. Okay. I'll play this one then. We'll use you to kill that. We'll play an Invertoise. And we will attack the Pipsqueak. Yeah, actually, we'll do a double attack here. Yeah, that one finished out of the way. The maximum food is ridiculous at the moment. Alright, so we've lost that. Nice. Okay. James Stanley by Aegon has arrived on the battlefield. All right. Nibbles can go attack there. And let's start attacking Bunnable. We'll save our secondary defender. We'll see what they do. They'll probably go and throw it into James Stanley. But dealt with the lethal threat. Here's one more there. Another cat for swarming. Mitosis. So he copies the minion as well. Oh, wow, there's a lot of swarmage. Okay, so this might be a problem. Okay, how to play this one then. So we can definitely kill one of those off. But anytime they play a minion now, they just get such a power boost. So yeah, we are going to go and kill that one. We're going to play Rabbit Foot and kill another one of the semi cats. And I have four power on the board ready. Can't kill Gloodle yet. Oh, he's got a charge. Oh, he can. Actually, of course he could. He had semi-cat, didn't he? Hit for five. Hit for one. All right, we have our own charger. Charge! Draws a card. Let's play a cat cube and the cat brain dog. We'll go and kill the other semi-cat. And since this does no damage, we'll just have you devour. And we might as well throw the rabbit foot away here. Okay, 18 all. We have minions, though. Shh. Cat brain dog. And... Bunnable goes mega. Refills the maximum food, but doesn't worry, because they don't have cards in hand anyway. What's your actual effect? When you deploy a minion, spend all your remaining food and give that minion extra attack. Oh boy, we need to kill this now. We need to kill that now. Right, so Gleedle hits for six. Three. Oh, we got enough, actually. So basically, they played a cheap minion and suddenly make it nine power. That would have been rather awesome. All right, we got the game. We didn't actually get anything for that game. It's just a challenge person, but fine. Uh, okay, so Sam, let's speak to Yolanda. And then we might be going up for one of our main challenge battle runs here. Yes, you can help me. I need you to watch an audience. I need to get an audience to watch my sound of comedy routine. Be a star, yes, a star. Stars can't gather their own audiences. Please. I'll see what I can do. Kids here are short memories. Meet me at the playground when you get at least three. Okay, find three kids that will go to Yolanda's show. I actually missed this quest last time, so stuff to do. Let's talk to you. No way. Uh, no. Whatever. Come on, Brad. You'll go to the show, right? Yolanda came to my birthday once. 
My dad says you'll land a DS isn't even sent straight from hell and I'm not allowed to play for anymore. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What if I owe you a favor? Okay, but I can come ask you for something anytime you gotta do it? Totally. Fine. Okay, I guess everyone deserves a second chance. Let's go. Yep, that's how much attention people will pay to their parents, apparently. Uh, let's speak to you. You'll come. Ah, oh, look, the baby loser. You have left while you had that chance. Baby loser, baby loser. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's speak. You'll just trade. I don't think you can actually be asked to join at this point. Ship shifts into a werewolf, apparently. Uh, let's go and... East Corridor. You'll come, but I can't support, talk to you, so that's fine. Yay, we got the game banned. Okay. Hey, Danny, want to come see Yolanda perform? She's really funny. The game got banned now, but if you could just... Does she do jokes about vampires? What? Vampires! Does she do jokes about vampires? Yeah, probably. I mean... Well, that was easy. Okay, that's two. One more. There's a cop. There's going to be a comedy show in the playground, want to see? An abandoned my hall monitor post. It's break time. Cry never takes a break, and neither do I. Okay, weird. Okay, well, no help there. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. We have... S oh, we have Cornelia in the art room. We have Sam as well, but he's a story mission, so we'll do that later, I think. Want to see the funniest kid in the school tell some jokes? Sure. Oh, you can see the Yolanda in the... Yolanda yells a bunch? Nah, no way. No dry proofs bananas if you're a bunch of kids. A bunch of kids are laughing at Yolanda's jokes. Yeah, Bruce freaking out when Jordan and Jaden laugh is tempting. Fine, I'll go. Nice. Perfect, it's showtime. Hey, we got free. Okay, so we don't need to go and find multiples like we did for the um, Gamatachi funeral. Uh, so... Make sure there's nothing else I need to do, actually, in all honesty. Nope, so let's go out and see what the comedy show is all about. The greatest comedian of our age. Hopefully. Maybe. Who knows. Let's head out there anyway. And... Yeah, we seem to have got a few more than three. Hey, go, I got you an audience. Thanks, Jess. Just one more thing. I need you to be my warm up act. Warm up act? Hey, you know, tell some jokes. I don't know any. Quit, the crowd is getting restless. Tell a joke. I was promised comedy. Give me jokes. I'll give you a cup for every good joke. How about that? Fine. Uh... Okay, we need to tell some jokes. Oh, I had a really good freak boomerang joke. I'm gonna see who diet. Why was a sandwich? That's the seaweed. Oh dear. One card. Tell another one. Um. Oh, milk. Another. Another. Uh. What a vamp oh, we need a vampire joke. What a vampire is in the principal heart again in common. They're called lifers and they suck. Hey, hey wait. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting dog. Interrupting woof. Yes, we're hit. Tell another. One more. Uh. No, that's not insult you, Lander. What's the difference between Bruce and a wild ruffian? What? Yeah, where's the dog? <laughs> Sent, uh, the amazing, wonderful, and hilarious, the spectacular Yolanda! <laughs> oh, we got some good ones out of this. Okay. Blitzer, Blitzer. Uh, if you have a face down mutation, free, free. We even have a mutation here. So when one of your minions is attacked and survive, gains five health. And we have Splode, where damage has five attack, which is very nice. 
We also got a rename. Well, we should probably watch and see how the rest of this pays out, but um, but no, we're not interested. Okay, little Jessica then. Hello, little Jessica. We need to upgrade the deck before we do this. And I'm probably going to call the video before we do it as well, just for ease of getting through this. So let's see. Explode is quite good. We'll place you with that. Pointer, we don't have any... We have one singular mutation. So we have a tiny dog for the needler. Actually, maybe we'll do that. Keep a couple of charged dogs. They're occasionally useful. So whenever one of our minions attacks and survived, it will gain five health. Hopefully, they'll be one of our defenders. So that should help with the overall theme of the deck. So next time, we will face off against little Jessica. I've been building this fight up. If it turns out she's ridiculously easy and I was just being terrible before, I am going to be disappointed. But until the next time, then.